guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're doing a full face of drugstore makeup. Most of it is brand new to me so it's also going to be a first impressions. In this bag is basically just a crap ton of new makeup. I can't wait to put it on my face. So if you want to see my thoughts on all of this makeup then keep on watching. For foundation I picked up the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation and this is in the shade Soft Ivory. I tried this foundation so long ago and I can't remember what the coverage is like or anything. This is a really nice foundation. The coverage is, I'd say the coverage is like medium because you can still kind of see bits of my skin poking through. I got this in Boots and it was £5.99. So for a £6 foundation, this is actually amazing. Let's move on to the concealer. My problem with this is that this is in Light Ivory, which is apparently the lightest shade. It was the lightest shade they had in my boots anyway. I think it's going to be darker than the foundation, which is a problem. Quite yellow. Oh, I don't actually think that this concealer is too dark. I think it blends in really nicely with the foundation. I'm guessing you're supposed to use the, the products together. So yeah, I was worried that this concealer would be a little bit too dark to match the foundation, but I think it actually is quite nice. Great job, Wet n Wild. Now moving on to some powder. I have actually used this powder before, but I think I've got the wrong color. This is the Revolution Pressed Powder in Porcelain Soft Pink. Nah. Please work with my skin tone. I think maybe it is my shade. I just don't remember it being soft pink, but it says porcelain soft pink. Oh, what do I know? I think that this is a nice powder. It's only a pound, so for a one pound powder. And I mean, it's Revolution. Revolution never, never disappoint. For contour, I'm using the Obsession Contour Powder. This is in the shade C102 Light. Moving on to eyebrows. For brows, I really wanted to try an eyebrow pencil. Wish me luck. I saw that MUA had bought out some brow pencils. These are the Brow Define Micro Precision Eyebrow Pencil. Pencil. This was only, I think, two or three pounds. Oh my god, it's got a spoolie on the end. One end you have the pencil. This is in black, by the way, just because obviously my hair's black. I need black eyebrows. And then on the other end you have a spoolie, which I didn't even know about. I just don't think I can use eyebrow pencils really. I think that's the that's the problem we have. I tell you what though, I don't think it's that bad. Like it's not the product that's bad, it's just my technique that's not good. But I honestly don't think that that is a bad eyebrow. My brows aren't the worst they've ever been, but they're not the best they've ever been. I had to just do it, I had to do it. I've been putting it off for so long now, but I needed it. This is the Imagination Eyeshadow Palette. This is just stunning. This is what the palette looks like. It's got baby pink on the back and then it's got like duochrome purple on the front. When you open up the palette, this is what it looks like. Absolutely gorgeous. So I've just put on some of the Wet n Wild concealer just on my lid. I think I'm gonna start off with the shade Love in Life, which is this transition shade here. And I'm just gonna start blending that through my crease. And then I'm gonna take the shade Mills, which is this yellowy orange here. And I'm just gonna add that into my crease as well. Next, I'm gonna go into the shade Get To Know, which is kind of like a rust orange color. And I'm just gonna start blending that into my crease, but focusing it more on the outer part. I think I'm just gonna go back in with the shade Mills. I'm also gonna use a little bit of Honey Bee and I'm just gonna kind of run that over the whole of my lid. And then I'm gonna go in with the shade Baby Girl, which is so pretty. I like a pinky, orangey, corally shimmer. So I'm gonna take some of that on my finger and just tap it. Oh my God. It's so pretty. I'm just gonna tap it over my lid. Then I'm gonna take the shades Honey Bee and Mills and I'm just gonna run that underneath my lower lash line. 
Then I'm gonna take some of the shade Butterfly, which is this really pretty, sparkly, shimmery blue. And I am gonna use a brush to apply that. Oh my goodness, that is so pretty. That's so pretty, I love it. Oh my God, Imogen. <laughs> Overall, this palette is gorgeous and I can't wait to do more looks with it. I'm definitely gonna have to use some of the more berry shades. I've just done quite simple eyes, but the shimmer, oh my goodness, I am obsessed. I also picked up some of the new iHeart Revolution glitter eyeliners. These are so cute. Like literally, this packaging is adorable. The mermaid one is a kind of greeny and then the unicorn one is kind of blue. So I feel like because we've got blue on the inner corner, I want to just kind of go over that with this glitter liner. Love them. They're so pretty. I'm not gonna do liner for this look. I'm just gonna go straight in with mascara and lashes. Don't actually have a new mascara to use, so I'm just using the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I actually have two different pairs of lashes. So I have some of the Primark Sosu lashes. These are in the style Milan. Milan? Milan. Milan. But then I also found these lashes in Poundland, of all places. These are the Fern McCann Siren Glamorous Eyelashes, and they look so nice. So I'm gonna give these a go. Do you wanna come up here? Come on then, come up here. Yay! <laughs> you silly sausage, I knew you could do it. Are you a silly sausage? Yes, you are. Are you surprised with? Why does this actually look okay? Poundland eyelashes with? Look at them! These are kind of cute. For Poundland eyelashes, I'm... Whoa, I'm gonna go and stick the other ones on and then we'll see what happens. Follow my dog on Instagram. Did they follow you on Instagram? Yes. <laughs> so, the fact that these lashes are literally from Poundland, I am so surprised. I'm obsessed with blusher, so I have purchased three different blusher things. However, because the makeup has gone in this kind of direction, I thought I would use this MUA blushed matte blush powder in the shade Papaya Whip. This is quite kind of orangey, peachy, and I just thought that it would be a nice color to tie in with the eyeshadow. Oh, this is such a nice blusher. This was only like £2.53. MUA powder products are just so good. And I also really love their primers. For lips, I don't actually have anything new because I have way too many lip products and I didn't want to buy any more. I'm just going to use the NYX Liquid Suede in Soft Spoken. So then just to finish up everything, I'm going to use the Obsession Lightning Glow illuminating fixing spray I don't know how many I need so this is the finished look using all drugstore makeup I am kind of obsessed so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video check the description because everything I use in this video will be listed below I hope you have an amazing day with whatever you are doing and I will hopefully see you next time